Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Nolan or the Optimistic Gamer here and welcome back to another vehicle tutorial where today we will be building a container trailer, a request sent in by Conrail Guy. Thank you for the request. <clears throat> um, this is a very simple build. It is a trailer designed for holding containers, the actual uh, box containers on top of them. And overall, it is a super simple build as long as you just follow along and that's all there is to it. So let's begin with the materials. For this build, you will need a damaged anvil, cobblestone slabs, stone slabs, and nether brick fence. That's it. That is all you need. And the texture pack link for this will be down in the description. It does require Optifine, so I will leave a link to a very helpful video for how to install Optifine for 1.14 plus. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is take your damaged anvils and place them all one block apart from each other, just like that. And these actually have two different textures. We are going to be using the... Well, I don't know. It's kind of your preference which side you want to use. I'm actually going to be using this side, which is, um, let's see. It appears to have a little more black in it, whereas this has a lot more silver. So we are going to use that um, black side, and then we are going to place them in the opposite direction that we did before so that they are both facing the right way. Next, in oh, and those are one block apart from each other. Next, place some cobblestone slabs right down the middle. Remember to hold shift so you don't actually open up the anvil menu. And then, on top of those cobblestone slabs, we are going to place... Oh, actually, let me change this real quick. Um, just to make it easier on my part, that way I don't have to um, keep flying over to uh, count numbers, that way I can just line it up. There we go, much better. Alright, so place a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stone slabs on top of that, on top of the cobblestone, and going towards the back, place 1, 2. And going towards the front, place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in total. So now we have a row of 16 from the very back to the very front. On top of those, we are going to place another row of stone slabs to make those full stone slab blocks. Just like that. And... In the back, make each side a full stone slab block, just like that on each side. And in the front, on the upper half, on that upper row, extend it out by two. Then extend it out by one on either side. And then, going towards the back, we are going to leave two block gaps and then place a stone slab. So. Two block gap, stone slab, two block gap, and so on, until we get over the front wheels, where we are going to place stone slabs over those. Oh, and uh, mirror the stone slabs on the other side. So let me pause here for a second, because I feel like I might have gone a little fast there. So that's where we're at. And then, on this row that we have over the wheels, go back by... We go to that next block back and do another row of stone slabs. Then leave a one block gap and on the final three blocks fill those in with stone slabs. <clears throat> Alright, um, next go to the second to front row that goes across and beneath that place a stone slab there and one right there. So those are full blocks. And under those, to finish it off, we are going to place some nether brick fences. Hey. 
<clears throat> and that is going to wrap up the container trailer tutorial guys i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit the thumbs up button it really helps me out shows me that you guys support this channel which is always good it keeps me motivated to um keep producing videos uh let me know in the comments if you have any requests thank you conrail guy for sending me this one keep them coming guys i'm hoping to get around to all the requests i have sitting in the inbox right now um so hopefully i can get around to those sometime soon um fulfill all of your guys requests as well as keep doing the um new ones that come in um also thank you guys for 300 subscribers that went a lot faster than 100 to 200 um that took a year whereas getting to 300 from 200 only took six months which is pretty awesome thank you for the support everybody um a few more things go down to the description i have some important things down there uh you can contact me and contact optimistic gamer at gmail.com my twitter is at optimistic gmr and my website is optimisticgamer.weebly.com you can also um check out my lego youtube channel lego knowledge if you're interested in that i'll have a link to that as well also my survey is still open so and that will most likely continue to be open for a really long time so i would really appreciate it if you went over there uh click that link i believe it will be the first one down in the description filled out the survey it's completely anonymous i can't see your email or anything um name nothing i can't see any of that so be completely honest I really appreciate the feedback. It it helps the channel out a lot, which is great for you guys. And final thing, like I said earlier, the texture pack link is down in the description. You do need Optifine to run it. You can run it in 1.13 or 1.14, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you have Optifine and I have a link to a helpful video down in the description that shows you how to install it if you do not know but that is going to wrap it up for me guys comment rate subscribe remember to stay optimistic and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching everybody bye